Hey Scorpio, I hope that you guys are all doing great. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to take a look and see who's coming towards you. So this is in your love life. What is this person like? Who's coming your way? What are your messages from spirit? Now with whatever comes through, just know that I'm going to tell you guys the truth and I only wish you all the best in your love life. I truly do, but I won't hold back with what spirit shows me. Okay, so if you happen to be new to my channel, I appreciate you clicking on the video. Thank you so much. My name is Lynn. This is Passion Heart Tarot. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Let's see who is coming towards you. Before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light and spirit. I can see Libra and Gemini energy here, Scorpio. Are you on the cusp of Libra? Maybe you're thinking of a Libra or a Gemini. Like if one has recently come in and you're watching to see if their energy shows up, or it could indeed be who's coming towards you, or there could be cross watchers here for you or your moon or rising signs. Just to, just to get that out of the way, because those are the strongest energies coming through so far. Four of Wands is the overall vibe that this person is bringing. I I just feel like I see someone who looks a bit prickly to me. They don't look like they're the easiest person uh, to warm up to. I think that they definitely are, are carrying with them feelings of rejection. They might have even gotten out of a very serious relationship, could even have gone through a separation or a divorce. And I just feel like they have these walls up. I feel like this person has like a, a kind of know-it-all cocky side to them. And, and to me, this energy looks like someone who has a chip on their shoulder. Like it, it just does. It really does and, and I, I tell you about that because it's what I can see but then also like you don't want someone that's going to try and make you feel small Scorpio because I feel like that's what this person will do but it's like from ego it's a defense mechanism and I think it's because they feel small so I feel like they'll try to like outwit you outsmart you I don't know why they're bringing such competitive energy into like their romantic life feeling like they have to compete with you somehow. So if you're a woman watching this and this is a, a man coming towards you, I think that they might even feel small if you're more accomplished than them. It's definitely in their own head. I don't say that to gaslight, but but it really is. It's someone who's like coming in with like already maybe feeling like they're gonna be disappointed or feeling like they're going to be let let down or rejected somehow. The fact that the lovers is coming in reverse around this person's energy, it lets me know that they're putting up walls. So what are you meant to take away from this, I wonder, Scorpio? Because it's just a challenge. It, it's, it's a challenging energy that they're bringing in. A challenging, competitive like a chip on their shoulder and like and like bitterness. I wonder if this is someone that you have a history with. That might make sense. But if this is someone that's new, I just feel like they're going to make a really bad impression on you. And maybe they don't mean to, but like that they're just coming across cuz they're making a bad impression on me as I look at this energy because I feel like why are they so competitive? Why are they so um I feel like they even have like this attitude and they can like say um, condescending things, like rude things. You know, you go out on a date with this person and I just feel like um, they need they need to do more work on themselves. Like, cause obviously there's 
a chip on their shoulder and there's something that they're still carrying in now if this is new you might want to shy away from this person you know you have to be careful with how much you of your time you want to give to them but if this is a history then that might make more sense to you scorpio why they could be this way you know i'm not saying that you deserve that but then you know you might know why they're coming in with like um on guard why they're coming in with already like um comebacks prepared, why they're coming in uh, with, with the heaviness of feeling rejected. So I think that you kind of even have to be careful with someone that is kind of vengeful when it comes to you. Please don't think I'm saying you deserve that. You know, of course, I'm going to be honest with you guys and, and keep it 100% with you because this looks that looks very vengeful to me. So I feel like you do have to be careful if it's someone from the past that you don't have the greatest history with. All right, I wanna look at these lovers. I wonder if this is someone at one point in time you guys were together and things didn't work out like did this person want you before and they couldn't have you? Like, did this person want you before and maybe you couldn't invest or you weren't in the right place to commit to them or for whatever reason, like it didn't work out? Because I, I just, Sagittarius's energy is here, you guys. So again, Sagittarius energy coming through, moon or rising signs, maybe cross watchers here or who's coming towards you. Now, if you're cross watching, you may feel this way like about a Scorpio, you know, cause that's, that's how it goes. But the Ace of Pentacles around the lover. So it's like, I'm coming in with all of these feelings of like, I don't want to be rejected. I feel like I'm going to be rejected or I've gone through a lot of rejection. I'm afraid to let my guard down and really let someone in. Will I really find someone? Although I really want to find someone. So maybe this is just a person that's gone through the ringer in their dating life. And maybe they don't even realize that they have their guard up and are coming across prickly in this way. But is that fair to you to be on the receiving end of that? This is just the energy that they're bringing in. So I know that they just have a lot of things that maybe they need to process and deal with. Because why should you bear the brunt of that if you don't like deserve to bear the brunt of that, Scorpio? Because it's funny energy. Because I think that this can be very confusing to you. Like they, I want a commitment. I want a relationship. But then like I put these walls up then I don't really believe in it. Then I'm on guard and I can be um, like kind of smart, you know, with, with my words. I feel like it, it could be like off color jokes even, or like they say something rude. It's like, oh, I'm just kidding. But why would they even throw jabs like that? So definitely a very, like a lot of complicated energy they're bringing in. You know, I wish I could tell you that like, they're coming in and it's super smooth with them, but it doesn't look that way. So I feel like um, if you've had a history with this person, they look kind of vengeful. They still want you, but yet they're still vengeful. Like, what is that about? That's what it looks like. Or if this is someone new, Scorpio, know what your boundaries are and don't let this person cross it and don't take on um some don't take on things that you shouldn't even own don't let someone take things out on you that someone else has done to them all right that's what i can see that's who i can see coming towards you i want to look a little bit into this five of, of swords because the five of swords is like the ego it's very competitive but it's like, I want to be right. And I, I feel like they'll, they'll um, what is it? Like, to, to prove their point, they'll just go on and on and on. And it's like almost easier when someone is like that to just let them have the win. It's too exhausting trying to talk, compete and talk with this person. 
Some of you, this is this is really someone from the past. Because it's just the energy is so strong of like. So I wonder if there's someone that you've been thinking about that maybe things didn't work out before and you're and you for some reason you want because maybe the timing wasn't right. Maybe everything on your end, like it wasn't malicious at all. This person is coming in feeling very bitter. So maybe just the time wasn't right between you and them before and for some reason they're coming towards you, you're, you're reconnecting somehow. And I say that because the Eight of Cups is in reverse, letting me know something is resurfacing from the past. It's, it's weird because if they felt rejected by you before, they still want you, but I feel like they want to give you a taste of your own medicine, Scorpio. That's what this person is like. And then for others of you, if this is new, you have to be careful for what they've gone through in the past that they might try and take out on you. So definitely a lot to tell you guys about. And I don't ever want you to think that I'm like judging because you know, you'll do what you feel is best for you, but that's the kind of energy that this person is bringing in. And like I said a moment ago, it makes me wonder what are you meant to take away from all this? If, if you experience these things or you can relate to these energies, Definitely there's something here about knowing what your boundaries are and not letting someone cross it and like not taking ownership of things that you don't need to take ownership of, Scorpio. Because, you know, the dating world is, is not the easiest thing to go through. So don't stay in a place if it feels like it's so difficult or it feels forced or it feels like this person is taking things out of you that you don't deserve. Okay, Scorpio, that's who I can see coming towards you. And just know where these messages come from. It is really only a place of love and light. So if you feel like there's a lot of warnings that came through, just take from it what feels right to you. That's what the reading is all about. Okay, you guys, I love you so much, Scorpio. I do hope that you enjoyed it, though. I hope that it was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, or share it with someone that you feel it will be helpful for. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, I do hope that you'll subscribe. Thank you again, Scorpio. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next reading.